Hey, welcome back everybody. We are taking a look at the Reaper Bones Obsidian Crypt. Now, of course, I don't I don't think this detail is on there like these little moss and ivy. I don't think that's molded on there. We will see. Uh I showed you guys the box and stuff. Uh when I showed you my uh haul video or my recent acquisitions. But in this video, we're going to take a look at the parts. All right, so welcome back, guys. It looks like there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. And thank God this is not attached. Because I was telling you guys in an earlier video, I was going to cut these off. So I don't have to cut them off. That's what I love about the guys at Reaper. They always are thinking ahead and saying, hey, yeah, that looks interesting. Like, I can hear Ron Hawkins saying, hey, yeah, that looks interesting, but uh, let's make it uh, let's make it optional. Some people might not like that, right? That's just how Ron has it feel. So you also don't need this big gothic-y looking thing there. So basically what you will be left with is you're going to have your front and your back. Unfortunately, you get the skulls because it's supposed to be a crypt and more skulls. So there's not much I guess you can do about that unless you just want to sculpt a mold over them and put something else over them. These are the panels. And it looks like this thing would go together real easy. I'm tempted to put it together and show it to you guys because uh yeah i just want to confirm that it would go together real easy the only thing is i don't uh i don't know if i'm gonna have to paint the inside before i put it together because this is a kind of a uh engraved base or sculpt or edge base you know and it's just some generic stuff around there so that could be anything and you know as far as I know, they didn't use any kind of real, you know, summoning stuff or things. But, uh, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I'll dry fit it and then show you guys what it looks like. Sans spiky bit. Well, exactly five minutes later, we have a obsidian crypt. And I think this thing is a marvel of engineer, engin uh, <coughs> engineering. This thing went together in five minutes. I mean, it was push fit, no glue. Now, as I said, it doesn't really stick permanently to this base. You know, you could glue it there, but I think the ideal is not to, so you can get inside because the roof doesn't lift off. Uh, but if you don't glue it, you can get it off. Like you could play with it without the roof on there. But it doesn't lift off. So if you glue it to the base and you glue it together, there will be no way to get figures in and out. So these will remain separate. It slides a bit, but I think once you paint it, uh, you're going to want to put a good coating or two of uh, matte finish over it. You'll get rid of most of that slide. Uh, Matter of fact, I will show you how quick this goes together. Because if I had known this thing was like this, I would have bought this years ago. I really, really hope they do Reaper does more buildings. Because this was, that was that easy. Right? If you just saw that, I mean, the door pop even pops in and out. So let's just get started. You guys can time me. And I'm going to do this stretching over my computer. So... First, I'm going to pop this door in the hinge like that. Next, I am going to slot this wall in here like that. Next, I am going to slot this wall in here like that. Next, I am going to take my roof and I'm going to line this notch up here with this catch here. So that will go in there. In the meantime, we will slide it in the similar notches on this side until we can catch this. These slot in here. 
So we make sure that notch for the roof is lined up. We're going to apply a little pressure on this end. Kind of make sure our roof is in there. We're going to come down, put a little more pressure on this end and this end. And no glue. Remember, no glue. I don't even see any major gaps either. So this roof, you got to make sure it's in there because otherwise it will pop out a little. It wants to stay in there, but you got to you got to help it out. So I think that's a good fit and we'll go in and make sure everything else is pushed in there. And there you go. So I lied. It took less than five minutes, about maybe three minutes to put this thing together. And that is nice. And like I said, you don't, you don't matter of fact, if you want, if you want to put this other stuff on, I mean, it's as simple as dropping it in here. You know, if you prefer to the spikes or you can leave those out or if you prefer the ugly looking spire you know this one you might have to glue in because it doesn't feel like it will stay so that one you would have to glue in but I don't like that either but there you go guys the Reaper Bones Obsidian Crip what an amazing piece of terrain this this one surprised me this one really surprised me I thought this was a bones miniature I thought it was a one big chunky rubbery piece and then when I saw this I figured it was going to need a bunch of glue and holding it together and man that that surprised me so yeah I would give this 10 out of 10 on my scale Take care, guys. God bless.